Good morning church family, it's a lawful lover. My name is Tim and I am pleased to present to you this midweek uh, devotion uh, here in Waihi Beach. Okay, um, I'll start with a prayer. Father God, just thank you for this time. Thank you for this moment that I'm able to share with our church family, Lord. Just ask for words of wisdom and um, thankfulness during this time. Amen. Hey guys, a um, couple of points I'd like to share with you. The first one is time. Uh, for me, spending time with the Lord, reflecting, reflecting on His Word, uh, listening and hearing His Word, uh, listening to His messages, and also spending time in prayer. Um, reflecting on that also uh, reminds me of the Sunday sermon. Um, that Pastor Marty um, reflected on in regard to Ezra when he was reading to the people um, from the book of the law uh, how they reacted how they praised him and then they cried um, for me it relates to how some, some days I forget that God should be uh, focused in my life when I tend to turn away from God um, things don't go really well when I do turn to God and basically refocus um, prayer time uh, reading his word and everything else that does go back into focus that things do work out well um, and yes it does happen so I feel that having the time to reflect on everything that God has uh, presented to me has have come back um, having them the sense of uh, point in my life and our lives that he is important to us and um, also the second one is patience having the patience to from God asking God for patience in my life especially in my work life um, as it's pretty tough where I am um, also helps me to grow as a Christian as a person and and what I do and how I present myself to others is very important um, for this is who I am and this is who God has made because God has made us as a, um, a likeness of him so if we spend time in his word spend time with him especially and have the patience to listen and hear his word um, definitely things will come about in a better way for us but um, I would like to read a passage from Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 it starts off with but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with his passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. So guys, a um, couple of points that I've shared with you today. I hope it works out. I hope it um, speaks to you. And I uh, just thank you for this time. I'll end in prayer for us all. Father God, just thank you for this time. Thank you for sharing these messages to our church family. Um, I just pray for their well-being. I ask your protection over all of us and all of our church family. And thank you for our leaders, our pastors, who um, lead from the front, Lord, and um, present us with the truth from your book of law, Lord, from your uh, manual that we should live the life um, through your word. We thank you and praise you in your holy name. Amen. God bless everyone. Ka kitiano to a fast way for us.